John Harris Bean, a lawman and politician, rode the untamed trails of the Old West, serving as sheriff of Cochise County, Arizona, when the dust settled at the OK Corral. He made his mark as a staunch opponent of the Art Brothers. Hailing from Westport, now known as Kansas City, Missouri, Behan drifted westward in his youth, toiling as a freighter and a miner. Fate led him to join the California Column, where he battled alongside his comrades at Apache Pass near Fort Bowie, Arizona, on that scorching July day in 1862. In 1863, he planted roots in Arizona, laboring as a freighter at Fort Lowell, then venturing to the Chero, Colorado mine in Pima County. Eventually, he set his sights on Prescott, where he tried his hand at various trades. While prospecting along the Verde River in 1866, he and a handful of men valiantly fended off a fierce Indian attack on February 28th. During those tumultuous days, Bean took part in civilian groups investigating Indian raids and tied the knot with Victoria Zaff in 1869. This union brought forth two children. By 1871, he ascended to the role of sheriff in Yavapai County, a post he held for two years. In 1873, he represented Prescott in the 7th State Assembly. In 1875, Bean's path diverged from his wife as they divorced. He relocated to Mojave County, where he once again served as a State Assembly representative, this time for Mojave County in 1879. With the advent of mining in Tombstone, he migrated southward, and in 1880, assumed the deputy badge under Sheriff Charles A. Scheibel of Pima County. When Cochise County, encompassing Tombstone, was established in 1881, Behan took the reins as its inaugural sheriff. Among his deputies were the likes of Frank Stilwell, William Breckenridge, Harry Woods, Wisconsin, Perry, Bill Soule, H.L. Goodman, and others. Shortly after Behan donned the sheriff's star, Virgil Earp took on the role of city marshal in Tombstone and enlisted the Earp brothers, Wyatt and Morgan, as special deputy policemen. Tensions ignited rapidly with the Clantons and McClory's, champions of Bean's cause, pitting him squarely against the Earps. Adding to the cauldron of conflict was Bean's affection for Josephine Sarah Marcus, who was quickly falling for Wyatt Earp. Following the unforgettable shootout at the OK Corral on October 26, 1881, Behan apprehended Virgil, Wyatt, and Morgan Earp, along with Doc Holliday, charging them with the deaths of Billy Clanton, Tom McClory, and Frank McClory. Yet, the judge ultimately deemed the Earps and Holiday justified in their actions. In September 1882, after the Earp Vendetta ride, Behan's feud with his deputy, William Breckenridge, soured his standing with Cochise County residents. Simultaneously, investigations unearthed a mysterious $5,000 cash amassed during his sheriff tenure, its origins remaining shrouded in mystery. Public outcry resulted in Behan finding himself at the bottom of the ballot in his party's sheriff nominations, an unusual fate for an incumbent. Losing the nomination, he relinquished his office in November 1882, never to wear the badge again. In 1888, Behan took the role of deputy superintendent at the Territorial State Prison in Yuma, prompting former Tombstone resident and writer George Parsons to jest that Behan was on the wrong side of the bars. Later, he became a U.S. agent in El Paso, Texas, tasked with taming smuggling activities. John Harrison Behan's journey through the Wild West came to an end on June 7, 1912, when Bright's disease claimed his life in Tucson. His final resting place lies in a now-forgotten corner of Tucson's Holy Hope Cemetery. <laughs>